In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Red Rhino with PlanSwift takeoff software. Now, the reason it's so fast to use Red Rhino with PlanSwift is, up here on the top right, you download Red Rhino assembly catalog. I'm going to open it up here. There's assemblies for residential, commercial, industrial, and structured cabling, low voltage. And also, you download the product catalog. So, the way it works is, is you open the plans on PlanSwift. Now you can't tell it, but this is actually a 32 inch monitor that I'm working on here. I have these plans opened up. I'm going to show how to take off circuit breakers um, using Red Rhino with PlanSwift. Now I'll blow this drawing up in a second, but I want to show something else. Here's what I want to show. I have Red Rhino open, Red Rhino software open. I use Red Rhino software on a laptop and then put the plans on a 32 inch monitor so I can blow them up and see them good. So you'll see in this estimate I have three sections, power lighting and panels and feeders and circuit breakers. So I just want to show that part and now I'm going to go back to PlanSwift. Again, I'm going to go back and take off some circuit breakers from this panel schedule. Here I've blown up the blueprint, so I just have one panel schedule in front of me. We see that it's a panel LA. I don't care about this too much right now. I'm just explaining it. I'm going to count circuit breakers, but it's a 12208 oh, <laughs> volt panel, three phase four wire, 225 amp. And so, of course, here's the list of circuit breakers down this side and down this side. So just to start off, again, we're going to we're going to count the circuit breakers and we're going to import the circuit breakers into Red Rhino and Red Rhino is going to display the labor it takes to terminate circuit breakers. So here we see um, a three pole 150 amp circuit breaker. I just want to explain this, that in this panel there's a lot of spare circuit breakers. Now we don't have to worry about that as far as doing inputting those circuit breakers into Red Rhino because there's no termination labor, right? You don't have to terminate to spare circuit breakers. So we won't be counting those. So I'm going to go into the product catalog here. I'm going to click in 8,000. Now, I don't want to take too much time to explain this product catalog, except to, that labor for all of these items, all the items you see in the 8,000 is in here. So I'm going to go to circuit breakers right here, click on it, and then I'm going to scroll down. There are circuit breaker labor termination or breaker termination in Red Rhino, one pole, two pole, and three pole. So any circuit breaker that has to be terminated, you would want to count them. I'm going to start by, by counting one pole 20 amps. There's lots of them. So I'll, I'll click the little green dot. I'm going to do some setup here, and then I'll start counting. Okay, it took three seconds to literally to uh, get this set up to count. So, so I'm going to just click on each 20 amp circuit breaker. Just click next to it. It's going to count them. Now, when I'm done counting it, um, I'm going to export them, like I said, back into Red Rhino, and it's going to display the labor it takes for circuit breaker termination. Now, I'm not going to do all these right now, but the fact is, is that I would just go in here and count all the one pole 20 amp circuit breakers. Okay. Now. If I was doing a real estimate, I'm just doing a demonstration here, I would go count all the 20 amp circuit breakers in the entire page here. There's several panels. I won't do that now for demonstration purposes, but let me just go stop digitizing here, and I'm going to next count the three pole 150. So I'm gonna scroll down over here on the right and find the three pole 150 amp circuit breaker right here, and I'll get set up and take that off next. Okay, so now I'll just, I have it digitized. I'm just going to click on the three pole 150. It'll make a little mark there showing that it's been counted. So again, to explain, if I was doing an actual estimate here, I would go in and count all the circuit breakers on the panel schedule all at one time. Again, I'm not going to do that just for demonstration purposes, but that's how, you, how it works. You just go in, find each circuit breaker, count all like for likes. You're done. Go on to the next one. Next, I'm going to change screens and show how the takeoff display. Now, this screen just shows the items and how many have been taken off. Um, if you're doing an estimate, a real estimate, there might be hundreds and hundreds of lines of materials here. Now, next, I'm just going to highlight on these, and I'm going to export them back to Red Rhino. 
when I do, Red Rhino is going to display the labor it takes to terminate circuit breakers. Now, just real quick, I want to explain that what the item or thing that talks to plants with from Red Rhino is called a Red Rhino connector. And I have it open on my screen here. So the way, the way it works is I just have to highlight the materials that I've taken off here, and I'm going to click Export Takeoff. And when I do, it's going to input those into the estimate. Let me show you the results of that. Okay, here I have Red Rhino open again, and here we see the results where it imported the circuit breakers in here. It imported, again, from PlanSwift, 12 one-pole 20-amp circuit breakers across here. It shows the unit price at zero because you have to get those quoted. There's no material pricing for circuit breakers. There's this Again, we were doing this to capture the labor. And it shows the labor each 0.17 hours. That's uh, 17 one-hundredths of an hour. Uh, Red Rhino breaks down labor into hundredths or decimal equivalents of labor. So long story short, it's, it shows 12 circuit breakers at 0.17 hours each to terminate them, and a total of 2.04 hours to terminate all of them. And also it shows uh, circuit breaker termination labor for uh, the three pole 150 that was imported. So let me go back to the plan swift screen. And I want to explain just one more time. The thing that makes it so fast to use Red Rhino software is, is you import, again, the product catalog and the assembly catalogs into PlanSwift. Simply count on screen, export to Red Rhino, and Red Rhino displays material price of thousands of items and the labor it takes to install it. That's it for this video.